Hi, I'm the vegan lady, and this is my dog, Dahlia. Today I am going to share my recipe with you for vegan burritos. The first thing you need to do is prepare two cups of brown rice and set aside. Now I'm going to take two pounds of extra firm tofu and break it up with my fingers. But this, this is a really hard product that's really good. And then I'm going to add it to my food processor. Pulse until I get the right crumble. Right about there. Put them in a big bowl. Everything's almost a quarter cup quarter cup soy sauce, quarter cup garlic powder, onion powder, chili powder, and a quarter cup cornmeal. Next ingredient, one tablespoon cumin, two tablespoons molasses. This will help it brown. There we go. All right, stir it very thoroughly. This is smelling really good and it's sort of like substitute ground beef, I hate to say it medium-high heat here and I'm going to use two tablespoons olive oil. Heat it up and then start browning my dry crumble. Add this mix to the hot oil. You can always add a little oil as you go, as you need it. Yes, she does have a mohawk. I'm sort of scraping the brown stuff off the bottom because that is really tasty. Okay, this is about 10 minutes of a lot of stirring and browning, not burning, in a very thick pot. It's very nicely browned, um, smells great. Putting it in the big bowl. Add these beautiful, colorful peppers, onions, and cilantro. I'm going to prepare these for the food processor. You don't have to use purple onions, but they're pretty. I like them. In we go. The pulse chopping blade. About like that. Chop up by hand all six peppers into this size. Half inch is good. Don't forget, use the tops. All right, six mixed sweet peppers cut up into about half inch to one inch pieces. Add your onions. Toss them up. I'm going to do basically what is a steam saute because it's going to be frozen. Two tablespoons olive oil. Flame on. Medium high heat. The oil's ready. Okay, I'm adding my veggie mix. Listen to that nice sizzle. Stir the oil around. That can't hurt. In six minutes, I've stirred this three times. And now I'm going to add the cilantro for one more minute. I chopped the whole bunch of cilantro up. And I wanted to also mention before you freeze something, you need to slightly cook it, or you will have mush. This goes into my pot for one more minute, covered. 
Now it's time for our cheese alternative. I'm adding one pound of a cheese alternative and I love the almond. This is a jalapeno jack style. Good. Four cups of frozen cut corn. This is two 15 ounce cans of black beans drained and rinsed. Two cups of cooked rice. These are incredible. This is the pepper cilantro onion mix. One more ingredient, quarter cup of nutritional yeast. Remember, don't be afraid. This is a bulk recipe to freeze. Look at this colorful, healthy food here. Now we're ready to prepare the burritos for the freezer. This is parchment paper. Put about a cup of my filling in it. Here's how I roll it. Now keep watching. Now I'm going to roll it in parchment paper. We made a total of 26 burritos individually wrapped in parchment paper. I'm putting them in one gallon freezer bags and zipping them up. After they're frozen, you can pull them right out of the freezer and pop them in the microwave for about three minutes. Right in the paper, they're good to go. Move over, 7-Eleven. You can find all my recipes and videos at theveganlady.com. Wave bye-bye. <laughs>